Okay, we're here with David McKenzie, CEO of Flint and Neal. Thank you, David, for joining us. Tell me a little bit about what you're currently working on. Well, we're working on the fourth uh, bridge project, the tender of the fourth bridge project, um, Ismet Bay, Messina, uh, Padma Bridge in Bangladesh. So a lot of projects worldwide, big projects worldwide, which uh, provides a very interesting and thrilling mix for, for me and for all the engineers in the office. Okay, well, how do you see your industry changing over the next year? Well, commercially, there's big pressures on all industries across the world. Um, certainly a lot in the UK. We've had a big spending review there, which has produced some major cuts for us. So we'll be looking more internationally than domestically, necessarily. Um, but the big impact has been that you know, there's less money around and therefore a lot more competition. And so times are a bit tighter. And looking at the implementation of the Euro codes, what significance do you think they have had upon the design and construction community in Europe? Well, I think they're a very good idea. We've been involved in Eurocodes for about 20 years now in terms of the development of them, and I think they're a very good idea from the competitive angle. Uh, it opens up the playing field for us in other European countries, which hitherto would have been more difficult, but of course it means there are more people now available to work in the UK. So it's a double-edged sword, but I think as an international firm, uh, it's a benefit to us. So do you think the Eurocodes have increased competition in Europe? Yes, I think invariably, because now people have a level playing field for design and people can work to other people's standards. So yes, it will increase competition, but as I say, also it opens up more markets. So it's a balance. So going on to the opening up new markets, Central Eastern Europe has gained significant attention as a region for future development. Is it an area that you or your organization are interested in or currently working in? It's one we're interested in, certainly Flint and Neal is part of the Kobe Group, and the Kobe Group has got a quite a big involvement over there at the moment. Um, from the Flint and Neal perspective, we're certainly interested in some of the major projects that come up over there, and we'll be looking for some of the new build projects, and indeed some of the refurbishment projects of existing structures. So why is it a particularly interesting area now? I think we've got um, a wide range of some fascinating projects that are on at the moment and I think also we've got the advantages of some better materials, uh, better construction techniques, so I think that actually the whole industry is going through a process when we're really starting to build some, some fabulous new structures. So what projects are you most excited about now? Uh, well, going forwards from now, I, I guess it is the major project of Messina, certainly is a very exciting project, obviously, um, and indeed Padma in Bangladesh, which is a great civil engineering project because you're bringing a bridge to people who really need it. It's not as if it's just another bridge. This is the first bridge across this part of the river. So it's a very important project. There's a real sort of civil uh, and, and good feeling you're doing some real value there. What do, you think of the, what do you think the biggest benefit of hosting conferences such as Bridges Europe, Bridge Construction Europe, and do you think they help in tackling some of the challenges you face in your daily work? They certainly help because we get to meet other people. This conference has been very good because we've had a, a wide variety of decision makers from various companies, senior people, and some very significant projects. I mean, some of the biggest projects in the world, or well, certainly in Europe, have been talked about here. Um, so that helps greatly, so we can get a chance to talk with each other in an informal setting, uh, and that's really helped a lot. So I've, I've been very impressed with what I've seen so far.